Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is SSCCGL Tier 1 2016 Morning Shift Part 1. Question number 1. Money market is a market for underscore. Option A. Short term fund. Option B. Long term fund. Option C. Negotiable instruments. Option D. Sale of shares. The correct answer is Option A. Short term fund. The money market is a component of the economy which provides short term funds. The money market deals in short term loans, generally for a period of a year or less. As money became a commodity, the money market became a component of the financial market for assets involved in short term borrowing, lending, buying and selling with original maturities of one year or less. Trading in money markets is done over the counter and is wholesale. Question number 2. India shares longest international boundary with which country? Option A. Bangladesh. Option B. China. Option C. Nepal. Option D. Bhutan. The correct answer is. Option A. Bangladesh. Length of the border shared between India and Pakistan. 3,323 km, including a line of control in Jammu and Kashmir and international border. From the above data it is clear that the India shares longest border with Bangladesh. India shares the second longest border length with China. Question number 3. The residuary powers of legislation under Indian constitution rests with. Option A. President. Option B. Prime Minister. Option C. Parliament. Option D. States. The correct answer is. Option C. Parliament. The residuary powers of legislation are vested in Parliament. Article 248 2, of the Constitution of India says that the Parliament has exclusive power to make any law with respect to any matter not enumerated in List 2 and 3. Such power shall include the power of making any law imposing a tax not mentioned in either of those lists. Question number 4. Appointments for all India services are made by Option A. UPSC. Option B. President. Option C. Prime Minister. Option D. Parliament. The correct answer is. Option B. President. All appointments to All India Civil Services are made by the President of India. Question number 5. The people of the Indus Valley Civilization worshipped underscore. Option. Vishnu. Option B. Pashupati. Option C. Indra. Option D. Brahma. The correct answer is. Option B. Pashupati. The deity Shiva Pashupati has been found on clay seals unearthed. Pashupati Madeva was the chief male deity of people of the Indus Valley Civilization. The Pashupati seal found at Mohanjodaro has an image of Pashupati Mahadeva with three faces, two horns, sitting on a low throne. Question number 6. The Upanishads are the underscore. Option A. Great Epics. Option B. Story Books. Option C. Source of Hindu Philosophy. Option D. Law Books. The correct answer is. Option C. Source of Hindu Philosophy. The Upanishads are late Vedic Sanskrit texts of religious teaching and ideas still revered in Hinduism. They are the most recent part of the oldest scriptures of Hinduism, the Vedas, that deal with meditation, philosophy, and ontological knowledge. Other parts of the Vedas deal with mantras, benedictions, rituals, ceremonies, and sacrifices. Among the most important pieces of literature in the history of Indian religions and culture, the Upanishads played an important role in the development of spiritual ideas in ancient India. Marking a transition from Vedic ritualism to new ideas and institutions. Of all Vedic literature, the Upanishads alone are widely known, and their central ideas are at the spiritual core of Hinduism. Question number 7. Sangpo is the other name in Tibet for underscore. Option A. Kosi. Option B. Gandak. Option C. Brahmaputra. Option D. 
Ganga. The correct answer is Option C. Brahmaputra. The Yarlung Tsangpo, also called Yarlung Zangbo or Yalu Jangbo, is the longest river of Tibet Autonomous Region, China. It is the upper stream of the Brahmaputra River. Question number 8. The largest herbarium of India is located at Option A. Kolkata. Option B. Lucknow. Option C. Mumbai. Option D. Koyamatur. The correct answer is Option A. Kolkata. The largest herbarium in India is Indian Botanical Garden, Kolkata. It consists of 10 lakh specimens. Shipra Kumavat answered on October 19, 2019. Question number 9. Temperature of distant luminous bodies can be determined by Option A. Mercury thermometers. Option B. Gas thermometers. Option C. Pyrometers. Option D. Color thermometers. The correct answer is Option C. Pyrometers. A pyrometer is a type of remote sensing thermometer used to measure the temperature of distant objects. Various forms of pyrometers have historically existed. In modern usage, it is a device that from a distance determines the temperature of a surface from the amount of thermal radiation it emits, a process known as pyrometry and sometimes radiometry. Question number 10. In IT terminology failure in the kernel is called as Option A. Crash. Option B. Crash dump. Option C. Dump. Option D. Kernel error. The correct answer is. Option A. Crash. A kernel panic displayed on an iMac. This is the most common form of operating system failure in Unix-like systems. In computing, a crash, or system crash occurs when a computer program such as a software application or an operating system stops functioning properly and exits. Question number 11. Which of the following institutions was not founded by Mahatma Gandhi? Option A. Sabarmati Ashram. Option B. Sevagram Ashram. Option C. Vishwabharti. Option D. Phoenix Ashram. The correct answer is. Option C. Vishwabharti. Vishwabharti was founded by Rabindranath Tagore in 1921 with proceeds from the prize money of the Nobel Prize he received in 1913 for the publication of his book of poems Gitanjali. Until India's independence, it was a college. Soon after independence, in 1951. Question number 12. Which of the following state has become India's first carbon free state? Option A. Himachal Pradesh. Option B. Madhya Pradesh. Option C. Uttar Pradesh. Option D. Maharashtra. The correct answer is. Option A. Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh, which has mandated all government departments to begin environment audit, is on its way to becoming the country's first and the world's second carbon-free state. People of Himachal will be expected to undergo lifestyle changes, according to the Environment Master Plan and Policy and Strategy on Climate Change and Harnessing Carbon Credits. Question number 13. Energy travels from sun to earth through. Option A. Conduction. Option B. Convection. Option C. Radiation. Option D. Modulation. The correct answer is. Option C. Radiation. Solar energy, in the form of heat and light, travels from the sun to earth through the process of radiation. This way, energy can be transferred through empty space without relying on the matter. This radiation is largely visible as light to the naked eye, although it also includes ultraviolet and infrared radiation. Question number 14. CK Naidu Cup is associated with which of the following sporting events? Option A. Tennis. Option B. Cricket. Option C. Hockey. Option D. Golf. The correct answer is. Option B. Cricket. Kotari Kanakkaiya Naidu was the first captain of the Indian cricket team in test matches. So, in his name, this cup is associated with cricket. 
Question number 15. Pump priming should be resorted to at a time of Option A. Inflation. Option B. Deflation. Option C. Stagflation. Option D. Reflation. The correct answer is Option B. Deflation. Pump priming is the injection of relatively small sums of money by a government into a depressed economy. Deflation through the commissioning of public works. Its objective is to increase the purchasing power of people. Question number 16. Which is the highest award for gallantry during peacetime? Option A. Veer Chakra. Option B. Paramo Veer Chakra. Option C. Ashok Chakra. Option D. Mahavir Chakra. The correct answer is. Option C. Ashok Chakra. The 2018 Sena Medal was given to him for eliminating a terrorist from a very close distance. Ashok Chakra is the highest peacetime gallantry award in the country, followed by the Kirti Chakra and Shorya Chakra, respectively. Question number 17. At Barren Island, the only active volcano in India is situated in Option A. Andaman Islands Option B. Nicobar Islands Option C. Lakshadweep. Option D. Minikoi. The correct answer is. Option B. Nicobar Islands. Barren Island is an island located in the Andaman Sea. It is the only confirmed active volcano in South Asia and the only active volcano along a chain of volcanoes from Sumatra to Myanmar. It is a part of the Indian Union territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands and lies about 138 kilometers, 86 miles, northeast of the territory's capital, Port Blair. Question number 18. The transfer of minerals from topsoil to subsoil through soil water is called Option A. Percolation. Option B. Conduction. Option C. Leaching. Option D. Transpiration. The correct answer is Option C. Leaching. The transfer of minerals from topsoil to subsoil through soil water is called Leaching is basically a process that involves the extraction of minerals or water-soluble plant nutrients from the soil by rainwater or irrigation. Question number 19. Heat is transmitted from higher temperature to lower temperature through the actual motion of the molecules in Option A. Conduction. Option B. Convection. Option C. Radiation. Option D. Both conduction and convection. The correct answer is. Option B. Convection. In this process, heat is transferred in the liquid and gases from a region of higher temperature to a region of lower temperature. Convection heat transfer occurs partly due to the actual movement of molecules or due to the mass transfer. Question number 20. Polio is caused by Option A. Bacteria. Option B. Virus. Option C. Fungus. Option D. Protozoa. The correct answer is Option B. Virus. Polio or poliomyelitis is a disabling and life-threatening disease caused by the polio virus. The virus spreads from person to person and can infect a person's spinal cord, causing paralysis, can't move parts of the body. Question number 21. Which country is in the process of building the largest single aperture radio telescope, FAST? Option A. Japan. Option B. China. Option C. USA. Option D. Russia. The correct answer is. Option B. China. China has finished building the 500-meter aperture spherical telescope, FAST, the world's largest single aperture telescope. This photo was taken on July 3, 2016, the day the huge dish's last panel was installed. Question number 22. The Kovada nuclear park project is proposed to be set up in which state? Option A. Rajasthan. Option B. Uttar Pradesh. Option C. Andhra Pradesh. Option D. Karnataka. The correct answer is. Option C. Andhra Pradesh.
even as people's resistance against the Kudankulam nuclear power plant in Tamil Nadu continues to make the news. The government of neighboring Andhra Pradesh has decided to speed up the 6000 megawatts Kovada nuclear power park KNP project in the Ranasthalam block of the north coastal district of Srikakulam. Question number 23. Fixed foreign exchange rate can be changed by option A RBI option B SEBI option C Ministry of Finance option D FIP the correct answer is Option A. RBI To maintain the fixed exchange rate, the Reserve Bank of India holds dollars on reserve and stands ready to exchange rupees for dollars on demand at the specified exchange rate. Question number 24. In biofortification technique plant breeders use breeding to overcome. Option A. Loss due to insect pests. Option B. Decrease in food production. Option C. Deficiencies of micronutrients and vitamins. Option D. Loss due to plant diseases. The correct answer is. Option C. Deficiencies of micronutrients and vitamins. Biofortification is a process of increasing the density of vitamins and minerals in a crop through plant breeding, transgenic techniques, or agronomic practices. Biofortified staple crops, when consumed regularly, will generate measurable improvements in human health and nutrition. Question number 25. Which institution has the final authority to interpret the Constitution of India? Option A. Parliament. Option B. Supreme Court of India. Option C. President. Option D. Attorney General of India. The correct answer is. Option B. Supreme Court of India. The final authority to interpret our constitution is the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court of India is the highest judicial forum and final court of appeal under the Constitution of India, the highest constitutional court, with the power of constitutional review. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.